Hey everybody, I'm James. This uh, is Russell. Out my <laughs> frags right here, baby. I'm telling you. Don't go anywhere for 10 seconds because that's how long our intro is. 10 seconds. And we're going to tell you when we come back what we're going to get into. We'll be right, right back. <laughs> So, today, we are going to do... What do you got, James? What do you got? What, what do I got? got? I have some first impressions that we're going to do. I reached out to the house of zoologist, Victor Wong, and I actually asked him for a sample of bee because you wanted to smell bee. Yes. And he said, sure, absolutely, I'll send I, you a sample. I'm rolling up my sleeves for this because yeah. bee has been on my radar since I've heard about it. Yep. And uh, he said, yeah, sure, absolutely. It'll take me a minute. Through, I think he said three or four weeks. Okay. So I think I remember I told you as soon as I got done talking to him, I was like, hey, I got a sample of bee coming. But they showed up in like two weeks. And he didn't just send B. I I want to say thank you so very much to Victor Wong. Because what he did is he sent a sample. And this is only half. We're going to do the half that we're interested in right this minute. He's... He sent us a sample of everything in his line, which is super thanked. I mean, super cool of him to do. Thank you so much, Victor. Means a ton to us. And while James was doing all that, I was talking to Keith over at Mr. Cheap Sense because he's also reviewing these right now, and, and he was going to send them to us um, when he was done. So I'll get a hold of Keith tonight and be like, "Hey, look, James just got these in." Um, and we'll see what we do from there. So do you want to but, try the B first or do you, because Russell here has yeah, got this thing about, he wants to smell some really trying scents, some stuff that people are like, you know, you've really got to have a certain. Those of you who have been with our channel for any time now know that the challenging scents is the verbiage you're looking for, have really started to intrigue me. I still have not gotten uh, yeah. Secretion Magnifique, but there's another one out there that I've seen which goes up and above, made Cuba, Cuba, um, Cuba nose? Puke. Oh, really? Literally throw up. <laughs> um, there's another one that actually smells like hot, sweaty sex. There's Tyrannosaurus Rex in here, which is also supposed to be another one of those challenging. Those challenging ones have just been kind of intriguing me, and I don't know why. Well, we've got a whole But I want to start with B, okay. because I, B and then Chameleon, because Chameleon, I've also, a lot of these have been on my radar. It's just these are going to be our first chances. Yeah, and it's my first exposure to the house. I've never smelled anything from this house. I will say that the, the artwork on these and the presentation for a card to sample, these are really, really nice. And the thing behind Zoologist is anything that we're going to cover, it's supposed to be that environment. We're talking about a bee, so what would a bee's environment well, smell like? And that's what we're about to So the through. top notes of this are orange ginger, oh, orange ginger syrup and royal jelly. Royal jelly is basically honey. And the heart notes are heliotrope, molasses orange flowers. And the base notes is benzoin, labdomin, musk, sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. So this sounds like this should be wonderful. Okay, I'm not going to say anything because I want you to smell it. it this um, is... It's got a touch of honey and then I... Do you pick up florals? I pick up florals in the background. And, and I was sitting there smelling it and it just keeps changing almost like... Yeah. Like this bee is flying through, he stops at a flower... And yeah, it reminds me of pollen. Honey and it, yeah. It reminds so, me of pollen, yeah. Like from I, the atomizer, it smells even different than... Yeah. Like, I will say, I like this. This is nice. No, this, this is, is incredible. You, this is one that we're going to have varying... <laughs> You're like, ah! No, to me, this smells good, but this isn't something that I would probably reach for a whole lot. Because I want because something... Of floral? The floral, and then I want something a little bit more thicker and richer when and it comes honey. to the honey. Yeah. This, on, this is this is more of how would you explain this? Not like the jar of honey. It, this is more like 
This reminds me of like naturally. Have you, have you ever took like the comb mm -hmm. and then like threw it in your tea? Like if you're making a hot toddy. Especially this if it's an organic that, one where it smells like the pollen that where the bees are from. Just that little piece that you're putting in your tea. Does yeah. that? Does, I know it sounds weird to people, but <laughs> that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But then I'm trying yeah. to envision it. It's like, oh, this bee is just going through because then it changes and then there's a different floral and are you getting the same floral because I'm getting like a different floral and or multiple I'm no, not I'm sure getting like the same it. floral but I get like a just a touch of citrus on top of the floral is that what it is citrus. that's I don't it's not really listed here but that's what I pick up this I'd be really interested to see what it smells like in the dry down because the notes in the base are really interesting to me. It must, sandalwood, tonka, vanilla, those are all things that we both really enjoy. The top smells good, it just doesn't grab me. It, you know, I was the looking- The musk is already starting to come through. Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like, I like B. Yeah, so uh, do I. And, and we knew some of these are gonna be super challenging. Yeah, that, that one was- probably like the least, and then yeah, this it is, is probably- not challenging at all. This is going to be probably one of the most loved um, out there that at least got the hype. This is called Chameleon. Yep. And you can see that the... It's reflective. Yeah, it changes color. All right. All right. So, so let me get the bottle. I'll yep. give you the card. And I'll read the notes. Top notes are bergamot, lemon, ylang, -ylang mango, pink pepper, star fruit, and violet leaves. Wow, this has got a bunch of notes. The heart notes are cashmere, clove, coconut. I can't even say that word. Jasmine, saffron, and salty skin accord. And the base notes are amber, woods, musk, a propanax, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. That's got a lot going on. Yeah, there's everything in the kitchen sink in this. Okay, this one. It's just, I don't know, fruity. Yeah. I mean, that's basically, there's a multiple, this is fruity and a multiple you know, different. You know what this smells like to me? Hmm. It smells like a urinal cake. Hmm. Smell it again, and then walk into the bathroom. <laughs> it's about the old school white yeah. ones. That, or that the pink ones. To... You know how the bathroom smells when they just put, dude, that smells exactly like a urinal cake. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. That's not a urinal cake. It sure used, is, man. Those used to. Um, <laughs> now, now I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Let's when move was to the, the next wait, one. When was the last time I seen a urinal cake? Was probably grade school. They used to have them, and when you peed on them. Yeah, dude. That just totally reminds me of a urinal cake. See, that's funny because of the scent memory. Yeah. But I got like a fruit in the beginning. And now the fruit's dying away. Okay, how many we got left? Dude? We got three. I don't know, but we got six, nine seven. To so seven left. So this is bat. And okay. bat. We're gonna speed through this. Yeah. Stuff. Bat top notes are fig, passion fruit, pink guava, soil accord. The heart note is hay, incense, minerals, night blooming jasmine. Base notes is alimatic notes, leather, moss, stone, teak wood, and vetiver. Bat. Yep. I, you know, when you think of bat, I was thinking of, oh man, this is gonna smell like guano. Like uh, poop. <laughs> like guano. Yeah. And and like you're in a cave in Arizona because we've all got experience with Arizona. It you're definitely. In that cave and it would be almost a musty, sweaty. It kind of has that feel stinky, to it. It doesn't have the stench, but I can definitely, it's got a little funk to it. Cause I can smell what comes across to me as- Almost mothball-y. Yeah. Wow. I, it's not as trying as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like, wow, that's horrible. Or like vampire bat. And yeah. Get it, but it's not, or something. it's not bad. Like, I could wear that. I don't know if I would reach for it all the time, but that's wearable. Well, I don't think these are designed for, like, signature scents. They're, they're more designed for experience. Next. This one is camel. Ah, okay, that one. See, I'm going to have to write the names on all these cards and take them home tonight so I can... Okay, so this is camel. I'm thinking Iraq... 
Afghanistan. This is not what Iraq and Afghanistan smell like. Oh no, we wish it smelled that good. Yeah, this this, <laughs> is, this is way better than what I thought the camel smelled like. Yeah, this like. is totally wearable. I like this. I would wear this all the time. What were some of the notes? Dried fruit, frankincense, yeah, palm fig. date, rose, amber, cedar, cinnamon, yeah, this is incense. Good. There's a lot. Orange blossom. This okay. Is, this one's a good one. I like that one very much. Yeah, no smell of like what we think it smell like. And this one is beaver. Okay, so a beaver top spends notes. most of its time underwater or yep. chewing wood. So I'm assuming it's going to be an aquatic woody. Um, we'll see. Top notes are fresh outdoor air, linen, balsam wood, shavings, and wild vegetation for the top notes. The base or the hot notes are dry air. I love that one. Dry wood and a light musk water. Base notes are a heavy musk, a dry wood, vanilla amber, and leather. The opening's gone already, so I'm gonna spritz one more time, give you the opening. This I like too. It opens very, very woody. Aquatic you and, think so? And woody. Yeah. I get a ton I, of woods. I got aquatic and then into the wood, and then I caught a slight musk. Or a staleness, yeah. I would say. Not even a musk. I was catching like a stale... See, I don't get the aquatic. What I get is they talk about a dry air nose. That's why I had to hit it again, because it... It's very airy, it's... yeah. All right, this is the one I've been excited about. And these are in no particular order. He yeah, these are just how we do about the ones that, that we want to try. And this is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Gee, and the right. top notes are bergamot, black pepper, fur... Lauren Lee, Ooh. the rolling and nutmeg. The heart is <laughs> checking him out. Geranium, jasmine, rose, osmosis, ylang ylang. And the base notes is resin, <laughs> cade, cedar, civet, frankincense, leather, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. Boy, Victor, you like using a lot of notes. Okay. So I hear you choking over there. Wait a second. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, no, I don't, yeah. No, it's nothing. No, I, it. I smelt it, dude. I kept smelling it. <laughs> Just because you kept smelling it doesn't mean that I'm So we've you. got, we've got volcano, <laughs> did you say volcano ash? And, <coughs> and uh, rotting corpse. Yeah, that's horrible. That's horrible. <coughs> Smoke. <coughs> I told you, it's got a choking. Wow. <clears throat> like a for real choke. Like, this is definitely somebody, Un this is an acquired taste. Um, 98% of the people that pick that up are going to do just like we just did. Yeah. 2% <clears throat> of people are going to pick that up and love it. I am just not in that 2%. <clears throat> the cool thing is, though, is... Okay. There's nothing cool about that. Keep no, that away from me. I don't want to smell that. Turn back time to the time that the dinosaur was actually around. I bet you this is what the art smelled like. <sighs> Horrible. <laughs> I do not. There was no air fresheners back then. Yeah. Imagine that. Like I cannot think of a single time. <laughs> it does make me cough yeah. though, for real. When would you wear that? I never. Not, yeah. Not. I mean, that's one of the ones like secretion magnifique. Please, please. But I want. Do to not smell get the, it. Yes. Yeah, the experience. I'm glad yes. I smelled it. I know what it smells like now. Next. This is very smoky. Very. Um, it's it's like a, a volcano with rotting animals around it. Yeah, it's 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 it is what it is. This one is civet, so I'm expecting this one to come across very animalic. Well, in the opening, you're gonna get the old dollar bubble gum. Wow, it sure is. Or not dollar bubble gum, the penny, penny bubble, bubble gum. gum. So uh, I that, can smell florals underneath that. Is that is not though. what I was expecting. A bubble gum. A cheap bubble gum back when we were kids. So the top notes of this one are bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange, spicy, and tarragon. Heart notes are carnation, heliotrope. I can't even. Uh, it's H Y A C I N T H. And I don't know how to pronounce that. Linden it's blossom. Starting to change. Turberose and ylang ylang. And the base notes are balsamic, civet, coffee, incense. Labdomen, musk, oak moss, resin, leather, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver, and woods. Like, this one's not that bad. I'd wear this. 
I would have I, to find I the right. I this. Yeah. This, and it's even changed a little bit. I was really, when I see Civet, I was thinking like animalic musky. Yeah, and this know, is not like, at all. This is kind of light. It's like a sweet, florally kind of concoction in the top. <coughs> yeah, all right. Not so we what got I was expecting. Two more to go through before we run out of time. Oh. And this next one is. Okay. Hyrax wow, and Hyrax is the little rat looking thing. You know the interesting thing about Hyraxes? You know that a mother Hyrax will throw her baby at a predator so that she can get away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Top notes are elm, pink pepper, saffron, <laughs> Turkish rose. Here, think of this. Here, think of it. Yeah. A heart notes are African stone, Cyrax whiskey, base notes are amber, benzoin, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, and tonka. I could wear this. It's not challenging. It's um, it's just really this is unique. I wouldn't wear this. This doesn't appeal to me. But it's wearable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I know. It's it's the uh, zoologist. The big thing about zoologists is most of these are supposed to be challenging of or just give you that environment. And so if this is the way that a hyrax environment smells now this one is squid and squid the top notes are pink pepper solar citrate and incense base i'm sorry i do believe this one the heart sorry. notes are black ink accord salty accord apopanex in the base is ambergris benzoin and musk and this one should be an aquatic i think we should have left t-rex to the end to the end yeah, I like this. Because again, I, this one this is, is nice. Easy I like wear. this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, T Rex, you might as well just have been eaten by T Rex because his breath probably smells the same as that fragrance. It is really harsh. Yeah, this one. Um, I like this. I believe some of the reviewers were talking about the black ink. I don't pick up an inky. I don't get the inky vibe, but yeah. they, I think they say that about, is it Silver Mountain Water? Yeah, Silver Mountain Water, they say it has I don't get an it inky out of that either. I will say that the top of this smells good. I can still taste T-Rex. T-Rex? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it is definitely an, a unique experience. Holy cow. Stop that, giving that to me. That is like, oh, God. It's so bad. Here, this milk spoil. Taste yeah. it. You it's know what I'm like, saying? It's one of those train wrecks that you can't look away. Have you seen the meme with the raccoons where they're talking to each other and one has a piece of garbage and he's like, this smells so terrible. He gives it to his buddy. He's like, yeah, this is horrible. I just can't stop smelling it. <laughs> That's you right now with the T-Rex. This is great. For what? The experience. I could envision being chased by this dude. Your wife would never give you Nookie ever again if you rolled up in the house smelling like that. No, you're right. I, I probably <laughs> would. In the divorce. I would probably have to shower before I came in the house. It's um, still on my nose, man. It's, it's, it is. But it's addictive. It's like. No, it's not. Yeah, you can't look away. You oh, can't. Man. It's, yeah, it's like a donkey show. It's like, okay, we're back in. I'm the only human on Earth, and the volcanoes are going around, and you got to traverse through this guy's neighborhood. Yeah, no, and you just right stepped there. in his dung. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it is definitely a a an experience all in itself. And thank you once this again, Victor. Great. Even though that's not, <laughs> and I still cough. Yeah, not I I for me. I appreciate the fact that you took the time and effort and made that. Okay, can I clear my palate with a little bee? And with all that being said, there is no bad time to smell good. All of these, oh, with the exception of T-Rex, smell good to me. T-Rex smells good. No, it doesn't. Stop lying to yourself. Don't lie to our signature scent yeah. worthy right there. You heard him say rotting dead corpse. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's 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 something that is so unique. Uh, it is a to me that comes across as a um, a novelty scent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But B saves you. It'll clear your palate. That's really B. It's not. That's yeah. Switch. There's still a little bit more florals it's in getting, this than I was I'm hoping. getting picking up a little more honey now at yeah. this point. And I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to get more and more honey dominant. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you. We hope you see you guys again here. I like a million. Like, too. comment, and subscribe. Never like, listen to him about the T-Rex. Do not buy it. Put your nose on it. And we will see you guys on the next one. See